Hi guys, it's me Sonny and I'm back with another process video for you and I am still going on and strong and May I scrapped it you in May. So today is day um I am working on day seven who is Sharon Bearback Bearback Man and she is at S Bear Barrack Man on Instagram. So check her out, give her some love, and look at her lovely layout. I picked out I picked out this lovely layout. This beautiful layout she has here um of this little girl that reminded me that I have this papers in my stash. So I dig through my stash and I found the collection. Um, I found most of the stuff that's in this collection. I didn't have the, the letters and this right here, I used it in another um, layout I had done. But as you see, she has um, used this, I have another one she has used that one for, uh, I must have erased it. But anyway, she has used that one quite a bit, this stash. And so I'm going to be using it today. And I'm going to be scrapbooking my dog that passed away um, last Christmas. Her name was Nana. And um, the only reason why I felt that I needed to scrap her on this layout was because I looked through her photos and she has like an exact copy of this dog in one of her layouts. I don't know if it is um, hers or she did it for a friend or is it her daughter's or what? what's the story about hers, but I can tell you right now, they are identical. So, it reminded me of her and this cowboy suit that I made for her. So, I am going to scrap with this picture. And I got the whole, maybe um, half of the collection. I got it from Tuesday morning. So, let's put you in fast forward and eat my gummies and work on the layout. It looks like it's going to be a really fast one. So maybe I will um, put you in fast forward in the beginning, then I'll stop and, and come in when I'm almost done with it. Sounds great? Okay, let's do that. Oh, I forgot to tell you the stuff that I'm going to use. Oh, God. How can I forget? Like I said, I got some of the stash I'm going to use, and I got some of the washi. Remember, I'm using washi. And most of my layouts, I'm trying to get rid of some of my washi and my stash. I am going to use these two pa pa um, papers, by 6x6 six by six papers from Color, Color Story from Mickey Mootman. I'm going to use this black one and this pink one for a backdrop for this picture. Okay, I am not going to do mixed media except white. And that will be at the end. I am going to use these beautiful flowers that I got from Dollar Tree and they are like metallic and if you haven't checked out the Dollar Tree section where they have the scrapping area, do so because they have gorgeous stuff come came out this um this um, month and I went out over there and I stocked up on some of this. And I love to use flowers from there because you can do all kinds of sorted things to them, but they're also beautiful by themselves. And I also got, I had this one on my stash, so I'm going to be using some of these little rhinestones that you just glue around. I'm using, in her, in her layout, she has this drop right here. And then she has this little tag here with a little bit of pink um, 
made me material or lace and I'm gonna and it was right there in that position this was on top of the photo so that's that I am gonna be using butterflies she didn't have many but three so but I'm gonna be using this one this one and I'm gonna use some reds then I'm gonna she had hearts these are the letters I'm using for the title. And I'm just simply going to say, My Beautiful Nana. It's going to be my title. Um, or Amazing Nana. Or um, this picture makes me happy. Who knows what comes to my mind when I'm almost done. And there's my tag right there. And um, you see right here, I'm going to use this one and this one with these two. So that's, and this one, right, I'm not sure if I'm going to use this one because it's green. But I am going to be using this, 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 and maybe that one. I'm not sure. And I think that's all I'm using for this um, 12 by 12 um, chipboard. Um, I also have some phrases in white. So I might use some of these white ones on there. Or maybe the green ones match too. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put you guys in fast forward this time and watch you um, go through my process. Okay? So let's just get going.
Oh, I forgot to tell you the stuff that I'm going to use. Oh, God. How can I forget? Like I said, I got some of the stash I'm going to use. And I got some of the washi. Remember, I'm using washi and most of my layouts. I'm trying to get rid of some of my washi and my stash. I am going to use these two um, papers, by 6x6 six six papers from Color, Color Story from Baking Bootman. I'm going to use this black one and this pink one for a backdrop for this picture. Okay, I am not going to do mixed media except white. And that will be at the end. I am going to use these beautiful flowers that I got from Dollar Tree. And they are like metallic. And if you haven't checked out the Dollar Tree section where they have the scrapping area do so because they have gorgeous stuff come came out this um this um, month and i went out over there and i stocked up on some of this and i love to use flowers from there because you can do all kinds of sorted things to them but they're also beautiful by themselves and i also got I had this one on my stash, so I'm going to be using some of these little rhinestones that you just glue around. I'm using, in her, in her layout, she has this drop right here. And then she has this little tag here with a little bit of pink, um, maybe material or lace. And I'm gonna, and it was right there in that position. This was on top of the photo. So that's that. I am gonna be using Butterfly. She didn't have many, but three. So, but I'm gonna be using this one, this one, and I'm gonna use some reds. Then I'm gonna, she had the hearts. This, these are the letters I'm using for the title. And I'm just simply going to say, My Beautiful Nana. It's going to be my title. Um, or Amazing Nana. Or um, this picture makes me happy. Who knows what comes to my mind when I'm almost done. And there's my tag right there. And um, you see right here, I'm going to use this one and this one with these two. So that's in this one right i'm not sure if i'm gonna use this one because it's green but i am gonna be using this 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 and maybe that one i'm not sure and i think that's all i'm using for this um 12 by 12 um chipboard um i also have some phrases in white so I might use some of these white ones on there, or maybe the green ones match too. So I'm going to use that. So I'm going to put you guys in fast forward this time and watch you um, go through my process. Okay? So let's just get going.
sorry about that guys um my phone battery died and i couldn't finish the layout couldn't show you guys how, how i finished the layout but anyways here is the final layout i added those flowers um with the, a frame and i thought that was a lovely touch right there with this one right here especially i love it and they are bumpy and they have texture and the golds around it is absolutely they're absolutely gold gorgeous flowers um this is just um very shiny but it's chipboard um i did the two flowers this one's a chipboard straight down can't lift that one up or the wings and these are brads brads in the back these i add some rhinestones on it i add two rhinestones three rhinestones right here and this flower in this corner one flower of the chipboard here and my title ended up saying sweet amazing nena that is her title now i'm just going to do the white splatters and you guys remember this one was um um inspired by sharon barrack barrack man i hope i'm saying your name right i am so sorry if i'm killing it i always had problems with names in school too like teachers would say oh sonia it's your turn to read attendance and i'm like I'm hiding under my desk because i don't i didn't like to do that i mean that was something to me that was it's something the teacher is supposed to be doing, not me. But I guess for us to help her, that is, um, well, what she wanted. And some people were okay with that, but not me. I came from Puerto Rico when I hit mid, um, elementary and I was in the middle of learning my own native language and learning English. And then here we go, bringing English and a language that I do not know. And I had to learn how to write it and read it. And um, it was very hard for me school. But that didn't mean that I didn't love it. Oh, no, I love school. I wanted to be there like every day. I did graduate with 4.0 and perfect attendance. And that was only the year of um, 12 year. The other ones, you know, were a little bit almost, almost the same. I would say I was a good student. I wasn't, my grades weren't that bad. I didn't have no C's, that's for sure. Cause um, my parents, they didn't believe in the letter C when it came to school. They used to say, C means that you can't. So that means it's saying that you cannot do the work. So, um, you know, they did not believe in none of that, so. That was a little bit of, a little bit you need to know, but that's okay. You know, I'm using, Dean, I think it's, is it Dina Wake Up? Let's see. Medium. Dina Wakely, yes. And I don't know. The white doesn't... It's not that... What do you call it? Oh, it's not like the acrylic cheap one from Walmart. That one really stays there. And you can see it. Like, really bright. I just pulled this one because it was closer to me. But I have no intention. If it doesn't show, I will definitely go back to looking up um, my my Walmart brand, which is I think we're collections. I'm not sure. I mean, I had I have a big bottle, and that bottle lasts me quite a while now. Quite a while. Okay, this is it. That's the end of my video. 
I don't know if I'm gonna go for any animal dots or something like that. I feel like I should. The layout's looking a little bit, um, busy to me. But that's how her layout was. But she didn't have all the, I mean, she had this, and she didn't have no butterflies. But she did have the butterflies right here. This was there, this was there, and her title and her photo. So, yeah, I did go a little bit overboard, you can say. And I just, uh, I was debating whether I should get that 49 market um, brand that came out, the, the layouts, or I mean the papers and stuff. And I was just struggling and struggling since I um, got paid this week. And I'm like, oh my god, I have so much in my room, my, my room already. Where am I going to put that? That just means I'm going to have to make some more layouts. That's how I see it. <laughs> so I did, went ahead and I bought it. So hopefully it'll come soon and you'll see a couple of those. I didn't even order much, just a little bit, you know, just the 12 by 12 papers and some, and a femoral pack, I think, and the rub-ons, because I do love rub-ons. So, um, don't forget to check out the dollar store, or dollar, yeah, dollar store, because they have these amazing stuff for, um, crafting right now, for for um, um, scrapbooking and I mean whatever you want it for check them out they have gorgeous stuff they have rub-ons they have these they have all kinds of flowers collections I mean you just have to check it out they even have stamps coming out with that with this brand with this craft the square brand look at this clear stamp I thought it was funny because the um, the dramas were like, this one's jumping, this one's just laying down. I thought this one was cute. I use that more, my, my stamps are mostly for my Bible journaling, but um, my layouts are more about pictures and die cuts and whatnot. So I will see you guys in my next video which is where's my list where's my list okay my next person online is myra oh myra o'reilly yes she is on youtube by her name so look her up she also has makes amazing layouts so i can't wait to look for one of hers up in Scrap lift it. Yes, Myra. Thank you so much for helping me and, and joining me in the group. I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget, we are doing this scrap lifting of May. All May. So, there, I am going to put your Facebook group below. For you can find Christy. She is the host of May I Scrap Lift You with Pineapple Papers on YouTube. And in her list, you will find the major list. The big list where there's people doing it every day, one day, once a week, um, twice a week, weekends. You will find it there in hers. I still haven't got a hold of the major list, so but I am giving you where to find it. The Facebook list. Facebook group page. Find it in there. Join it. Come check it out. Make amazing layouts. I will see you guys on my next layout again. I'll stop talking right now. Take care. Bye-bye. God bless. Be safe. And keep scrapping.